everyone, Abby here with Purple Cottage Crafts, and I have another magazine flip through video for you. Now, I have, I have done this once or twice before. The last time I can remember doing it was when we first moved to Florida, and my craft room wasn't unpacked or set up yet, so I just grabbed a couple of crafty magazines and I was flipping through the pages and kind of sharing with, with you some, you know, different ways that I gather insp inspiration for projects and just kind of fun to kind of flip through a crafty magazine because normally I do it by myself but when I film myself doing it I'm talking and I'm talking to all of you so I feel like I'm doing this with like a group of friends or something so I, ha I just made myself a latte in our Keurig and have set that to the sides because I don't want to spill that which I probably might we'll, we'll see so this is the magazine I picked up um, when I was in Lowe's the last time it's the best flea market style matter of fact I bought this when I did that, um, come shop with me at Lowe's. That's where I found this, or when I purchased this. So it's the best of uh, flea market style. Um, this is for, it's supposed to display until December 11th. So this should still be out there in um, your local stores. I don't know if like Walmart sells this kind of a magazine. Um, the craft stores, you know, like Joann's and Michael's, I've seen them there, Hobby Lobby, that kind of thing. And then, um, or not Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry. But I got this at Lowe's. So, um, Home Depot might. I'm not sure. I don't know if, you know, like it's, I said, with Walmart or, um, you know, other store, supermarkets that carry magazines like Safeway for us now back in Florida was Publix. Anyway, but I still wanted to share this with all of you because there's some really cool stuff in here. Now, I did already kind of do a flip through and um, just to kind of take a peek at some stuff and I have some um, cool things that I wanted to share with you. Now, I'm filming on my new video camera, which is just... Um, uh, it doesn't have as many bells and whistles as my last one, which is okay, because all I need this to do for now is just to record, so we're good. So um, forgive me if, if I take you, if I bump the camera or something like that, because I'm still trying to fiddle with it a little bit. All right, so just going in here as to the table contents, duh, just like, you know, to have you know, like a regular magazine would have. But there's just some really cool ideas, things that I've already done or tried, or uh, my friend's... Um, Mindy, who does a, I'll try to remember to link her the video I did of her shop. It's Amy's Attic, and I'll link that below when I go to edit the video. And um, you can go check out that video and see what her shabby chic farm decor shop looks like. Really, really cool. So, but see, like in this background here, let me try to zoom in just a little tiny bit. It has the ship lap. Oops, wrong way. See, I told you it's going to take me a minute to get used to this different, uh, the different settings. So this has um, ship lap in the background. Now there is a, a full page photo I'll share with you, but this is something that my craft room is going to have for sure, my new craft room. So plus, not only is this fun for me to flip through this with you guys and um, ladies and gents, but also it's giving me a little bit of a break from the normal, sorry you guys, I'm trying to there we go. I think we'll leave it there, and I'll just pull it. Up. I'll just hold it up if I need to. If I need to show something closer to you, but it's kind of a fun break from you know still unpacking stuff from the house and you know kind of dinking around my crafting stuff in the RV bay, which is my favorite thing to do. But um, you know, it's it's a good change to do something a little bit different. So this, uh, let's see here. Da -da -da. Thought there was something on this page. Maybe it's the the next page. This is a cute idea. Mindy has that in her shop. I thought something like this might be cute inside of our house, maybe like in the living room or the formal dining room, I'm not sure. Um, I think that's really cute though. I like that with the old ladders. My mom still has my dad's old wood ladder like that. That's all chippy and full of different, you know, different years of paint. There's some purple on there because he painted my um, bedroom purple when my one sister, um, my last, uh, the next, well, my sister, who's seven years apart, seven years apart from me, when she finally moved, to, I have three. I have three sisters. I finally got room to myself, and I was so excited. So this here is a how to score deal section. This is really good. I, I did learn some things from this uh, article, and there's some things I already knew. But it talks about with flea markets and um, what to look for, what to do, what kind of stuff to pack with you, and it talks about antique shops and talks about uh, thrift stores, which is probably, this This is probably the one I have the most experience with because my mom, when I was 14 or 15, she started working at, uh, um, it's called Teen Challenge, it's a Christian organization, and she started working at the thrift shop there, and she worked there for, I don't know, probably a good 20 plus years, I think. So I would go in there on my days off um, when she was working, 
work any kind of to shop around. So I've got some grad sale stuff. A veteran with us, I feel. We did that. I, my, my mom, my aunt, and my older sisters, we all did this when I was younger. So, and this is online shopping. I've become a pro with this, especially since my uh, trigeminal neuralgia. I can't always go out and about to shop and stuff, which is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Hence why my craft room is not unpacked yet because I've got so much stuff. So it was just really cool. Like um, here, the what to bring part. I'll hold this up so you can take a peek at that. In case you want to pause it and write this information down. So that's really pretty, a really cool thing to do. I'm trying to look on my phone over there because I'm hoping this isn't going to be too super long. But you can always fast forward, I guess, if it's a little bit. So this is a really cool article in here about this family. Um, he, I th think he is more modern. Is that what it said? He's more kind of modern, um, kind of a vibe for decor. And she's more like the, the vintage antique shabby chic kind of a thing so I thought this was really cool the way that they put their house together um, now this is I'm not being critical everybody's got their own tastes and style this is not my taste or my um, mo mostly because there's yellow in there and gr green um, but this this is I think it's a really cool way that they did this together though they pulled it together which I think is awesome see this right here we're not going to have it exactly like this but we're going to put kind of like the um, chair railing in our formal uh, living room which is our dining room which is in the front of our house we're not going to use it for that we're going to um, have it just be an extra space in the house of course so because we're very informal <laughs> informal family oh this right here you guys is this the is this yes i completely forgot i bought i got a subscription for this a little over a year actually when when um uh when Joanna Gaines first came out with her magazine. So I have a stack of these to do another video just like this, but I didn't get around to it um, before we moved to Florida. So definitely gonna be seeing this one coming up. And um, the, just to kind of throw it out there, if there's anything specific that you'd like me to share or show or talk about when I do these kind of magazine flip throughs, please leave it in the comment section below. You can all, also um, email me purplecottagecrafts at gmail.com, which is listed below as well. And I'll, um, I'll take some notes and I'll remember to do that the next time. So I like this part here. Again, not the actual pieces of art, but the whole gallery, um, gallery wall thing. I have loved this for so long and, and um, <clears throat> Steve and I will be celebrating our 10 year wedding anniversary next uh, July. So very excited for that. So I've always wanted to do a gallery wall since we've been together. And you can hang stuff when you lease. That's not a big deal because we've, um, you know, they don't care. We take things down, patch the holes, we're fine, good to go. But um, I never really wanted to invest in doing a bigger project like this for a house that wasn't my own because we did move quite often. Um, and within Lebanon, of course, where I, I used to live. So I love the fact that they're using purple ink here. <laughs> Nothing to do with the article, but that just makes me happy. So this is just, just kind of a fun little section up here. So I'm going to do a gallery wall. Um, we have one downstairs I want to do, and then upstairs on the upstairs, a landing before you get, when you get to the uh, mat, the bedrooms upstairs, there's this re really nice long hallway. So um, I'm definitely going to be doing some of that there. And I will film that, of course, so you guys can see, because a lot of my pictures from my gallery wall, I'm going to be putting together myself doing as projects, which of course I'll share with you too. So I love this leaded glass in this one. I think this is a different couple. No, it's the same couple. I love that leaded glass in those windows. <clears throat> Such a cool, cool look. We used to have a piano, old wood piano. I wish we still did. We gave it to my brother, gifted it to him um, because his kids wanted to learn how to play the piano. So, um, let's see, I've seen some really cool shabby chic DIY things with pianos, but you know, I I didn't want to hang on to it just to kind of do do that when somebody um, you know wanted to use it for its intended purpose. <laughs> That's why we kind of donated it to my younger brother. So I don't know what it is about this wallpaper, but I love this, you guys. I wish I could get a roll um, or even a sample piece of that wallpaper. I think it's so pretty. Now, this might be a bit too much for Steve, um, pretty florally, but that's okay. I mean, you know, when I'm, we're not going to do this, but I think it's it's really cool. I don't know about a whole room with this. I feel like it might be a little bit um, dark, maybe. Depends on the lighting, which then you can see they've got a really nice window right there. So... Who knows, but I do I do love this look. I think it's really, really cool looking. Okay, so here's a better example of the shiplap walls. So this is from a schoolhouse, and you can kind of see the shiplap back there. That is exactly what's going to be on the walls um, in my entire craft room. I have a different treatment we're going to be doing for um, the ceiling, and then something different for the flooring. So 
if I come across the different examples of that, I will give you like a little quick sneak peek, but I kind of want to keep everything close to my chest until we get the room done. So it'll be kind of like a nice um, little surprise for all of you to um, kind of see the transformation in my craft room too. Love this. We're definitely going to be doing the Edison lights like this. I love that um, chandelier too in the main part of the house. We're going to do that. So look at those nice dark wood floors. I love those too. We're putting down um, hardwood flooring, but it's not not going to be that dark, but I do like that darker look. So this is really cool. I love how they repurpose that dress or that dresser or whatever this was. Let's see. Uh, thrift. They, they only paid 10 bucks for that. How did I miss that little paragraph? They only paid $10 for that. That is such a deal. That's why I love going to, um, you know, grad sales, thrift shops, antique shops, uh, flea markets. I recently scored a huge, huge haul of stuff from a um, estate sale that I went to. I will link those two videos below as well because I have one just for all the linens I found and everything else is for like my larger pieces of furniture and some um, pieces of glassware, things like that. So I just love how that shiplap looks and I love this cabinet right there. That is so, so cool. Okay, so moving on. Of course, my eyes drawn to this because it's purple. <laughs> I love that. So just a closer look of the shiplap wall that they have. And then here they have the subway tile. But I do like that. I think it's called penny tile, I think is what it's called. When it's that tiny, those little tiny black, you know, or I'm trying to say. I think it's called penny tile. I'm pretty sure. If I'm wrong, you know, let me know in the comment section below. And I will make sure I will use the proper term the next time I come across it. So this is really cool. Now this is kind of an example of one of the tables that's going to be my crafting space. Uh, um, my main crafting and filming area is going to be, you know, like a regular sized um, where I'm sitting down and crafting at it. But I definitely want a middle island that's either a table like this with some storage underneath or um, you know, like maybe a solid looking piece with storage underneath as well or on the sides. Now Steve is going to be building me a custom um, reclaimed barnwood table along with one of his buddies that um, has a lot of experience with you know furniture making and things like that. So I'm very excited about that. I have shown those little sneak peeks of the um, barnwood piece that we're going to be using in prior videos. So it's, it, it's in a few so um, I can't think of one specifically uh, when I go through my videos that when I go to edit this one, if I can find one that uh, specifically talks about the reclaimed bar, but I'll link that below as well. So this is really cool. I'm trying to see here. Okay, this is this lady's um, home home office. And I love that she has the inspiration boards like that and kind of like, you know, a vision board. I love that. I'm definitely going to be incorporating that into my craft room. Currently, it's combined to a um, notebook that I have. So take a sip of my coffee real quick while you're kind of looking at this one here okay so this is walls that talk I think this is really cute this might be kind of a long video um because I haven't figured out the settings to have a display on the view screen for me so I'm kind of looking at my phone but like I said you can flip past this fast forward if you want to but I have heard um the response from a lot of you say that you like my longer videos and and me kind of chatting so that's probably what this is going to be um till I get through the magazine <laughs> like this, we still have all these pages to go. <laughs> so I'll try to be a little bit more focused on what I'm talking about. I love this here because I have a passion for, well, there's a lot of things I have a passion for as far as like vintage furniture and industrial pieces, but I love these types. What looks like, you know, the library card catalogs, the, the old drawer pools. I am just a huge obsessor of furniture like this. I love it. I have like a stack of um, uh, library card drawers that I've, uh, I kind of collected throughout the years. This is kind of a cute idea with the spools. If you've done this kind of crafting or anything in this whole magazine, comment below and let me know because I would love to, because I do love to read through the comments and find out what you all like to do as well as me. So I love that. If you have like a link to a blog or your YouTube channel or someplace online that shows pictures of what you've done, please leave that in the description box with your comment or, or if you're not comfortable you know putting that information out there in a comment where everybody else can see just send me an email again to um, purplecottagecrafts at gmail.com because I would love to look at what you create and support you as you all support me too so this is a really cute idea now I was trying to I don't 
I was trying to figure out if that's like an actual legitimate real button or if they took like a record and did that. I can't really tell. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, this is really cute though. Again, this is that whole gallery wall concept that I just love so much. Here they have, uh, I'm not sure if this is actual shiplap in here or not, but they they left it kind of like this little bit of a um, kind of a taupe color. I thought that was kind of cool. Love the repurposing of these old tables. Love that a lot. Um, we have some baskets that I've purchased at like World Market and um, the Saturday market up in Portland, Oregon. Now this is uh, all before we moved to Florida. So a lot of my home stuff is still packed because like I said, um, it wasn't our home. And we did, we had, had like a three to five year plan for us moving to Florida with my husband's company. And so we we lived there for two years and two months before he got a promotion and moved us back home to Oregon, just in case you knew my channel. So I have a lot of things that we've collected since we've been together, because Steve also loves to go antiquing and flea markets, estate sales. He has things that he likes to collect. Um, if you're inter interested in seeing some of that stuff, just leave me a comment below and I will try to work that in between like actual crafting videos. I love these plates, you guys. These are vintage plates and platters. And what they did, Let's see here, da, 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 adding decals. So since I have the Silhouette Cameo, I could do this kind of a thing too. Or if you have like Cricut Explore, you can find rub-ons, you can find other decals that um, I like at hobby stores, like Hobby Lobby, my, uh, Michael's, Joann's, even on, online, if, um, like Amazon or scrapbook.com. So this is a really cool idea too. Now this one, I, for me personally, I, I wouldn't put that butterfly there because I love, obviously, the really kind of pretty purpley um, kind of pink colors on there. But I think that's a really cool idea to do that, though, because it's something you can always scrape off or peel off if you don't want to, you know, have those butterflies on there anymore or if you want to kind of just mix it up a little bit. I think that's a really cool idea. So I have a little thing of page flags. I don't like to bend the corners on my books and magazines. I used to, but I don't like to do that anymore. So I'm definitely going to come back in and, and mark this page. And I meant to do that before I did this video because I wanted to share with you the certain um, pieces or a section of this magazine that I really, really love. So this is a really cool idea too. I never would have thought to do this. Um, I've seen some really cool repurposing with like old two boxes and stuff like this, but never on the wall. I love this. This is definitely going to um, be incorporated into our home. I'm not sure which room or if it's going to be upstairs or downstairs yet, but I love this idea. And if I have enough room on my walls, because um, I don't want to cover all the walls with like, you know, cabinets or racks and stuff, because I really want to have space for my own artwork that I put in there, like things I've made. And I have a huge amount of beautiful art pieces from all of you out there that are so generous to send me things. Not asking people to do that. I'm just saying I've gotten that in the past and I appreciate that so much. So I want to have a place to display all that stuff too, at least a portion of it, and then kind of switch it out um, maybe, maybe every month or two, something like that. But I think this is such a cool idea. I never would have thought of this, but I think this is really, really cool. So if you've done that, let me know in the comment section below too. So I like that a lot. Okay, moving on. So this is really cool. This one kind of screams more male to me. I don't know why. Not that ladies or little girls can't have these things in their room. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this, I'm kind of drawn to this as being like a boy because of like, well, the shoes for one <laughs> on the carpet, but kind of like the darker colors, like the blues and kind of the steel grays, that kind of thing and the deeper browns. But this is really cool too. I love to find um, a chair like that so I can do that whole crackly chippy pink kind of thing on it. So I have a running list of different things I want to acquire um, for our home, for my craft room, um, and kind of like our front porch to kind of to decorate. So um, it's all about the hunt for me. It always has been. I love looking and searching for my treasures and trying to find the best deals for things. I love doing that. And Steve is um, amazing at that. He's such a good, um, is barter a word? <laughs> but like we go to flea markets and estate sales and things, grad sales. He's very, very, very good at bartering and getting things at a really good price. Not lowballing people or trying to you know, get it for nothing, but he does a very good job of that. I'm too t um, intimidated to do that. So I kind of, I'm just kind of pay the price unless, you know, I know um, I'm probably more comfortable with uh, garage and yard sales when it's just like ladies. I don't know why, but anyway, so this is kind of a cool thing that did this here. This is a metal melange. How do you say that? Melange? Melange? I don't know. You have to, somebody have, um, have to 
uh, phonetically spell that for me down below because I'm not sure and I don't want to take the time to look it up on my phone for Google so I love this again the Edison bulb and the kind of like the rawness of it you, you can see the wire the metal um, the, I think it's really cool so this is I love this because I love doing decoupage and collage stuff I make and sell um, collage bits and if you're interested in getting into those no matter what size colors themes just send me an email or send me a link below or a comment below sorry about that but this is kind of a cool concept I uh, um, I want to do something with our half bath downstairs which is what our guests and company kind of stuff use the other the two are upstairs and so I think this would be kind of a cool um, idea but I'm going to make it of course Abby I'm gonna Abby it up and it's gonna have um, more like the lilacs and the lavender tones and stuff in there so that's another home um, project this I love now I know for the, the like the past year or so um, doing embroidery hoop artwork in crafts is like a huge trendy thing and I did one of these not with the doilies in it but I did um, an, an altered embroidery hoop and I'll try to find the, vi the video and the photos in my um, in my uh, passport but I gave it away to a former co-worker so I don't have it anymore to kind of show you but I did it it was for design team project I think it was either for crafting Ireland which is a um, Irish design team magazine that I um, was on I was a crafty contributor their words not mine and then I um, this was either for them or for Lenny Bloom so I'll try to dig up a picture and throw it up in here if I remember to do um, when I'm editing the video so this is a really cool idea though like if you have like you know some vintage doilies or laces or tablecloths like smaller things and you don't want to cut them apart or um, stain them or anything like that this is a great idea to um, you know kind of share, share these with other people who come to your home and a way to for um, like a visual piece on your wall some artwork and I don't know about all of you but whenever I have something from my family member who's no longer living um, I, it kind of a, uh, kind of gives me like a warm feeling when I look at things that I've done I speak I'm speaking specifically about my um, dad and I made a shadow box with his Navy stuff and all I still have it it's packed away but I'll try to remember to throw a picture up here and if I can find one easily and it kind of just makes you know kind of warms my heart makes me think of my dad and sometimes it makes me a little sad yeah my dad passed away when I was um, 19 and I'm now 45 so it's been a while but anyway this is a cool thing to do with baskets too like I said Steve and I have quite the collection of um, you know hand woven baskets some are from Africa you know India we got some really cool baskets we've kind of collected so I think I'm going to draw inspiration from this kind of idea and do um, you know do this in my new home I love this you guys look at these pillars in this old I um, beam up here I love that that is so cool so so cool I love this so much Steve liked it too I showed it to him he liked that there's a really cool place in um, Aurora Oregon which is probably mm, maybe a half hour somewhere around there from where we live and the majority of that smaller town is just antique shops um, you know reclaimed hardware um, shops things like that and you, you can go there and you can find the coolest things like, like these pillars these di different decorated beams and stuff so whenever Steve and I go there I definitely am going to vlog it so you can um, kind of check out the the town it's really really cool I love these corbels like that that's so cute I actually have two that are upstairs in our master bedroom the prior owner they left um, their curtains and their tie backs and all of the hardware for hanging the curtains so I'm definitely going to be upcycling the corbels and using them in um, somewhere in our home or my craft room I'm not sure which I love this kind of a clock I don't know what style that is oh here we go French Scandinavian vibe with a glass waterfall. Okay, da, 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 da. it says it just says uh, grandfather clock, which I know what they are, but I don't know if this had like a specific name for this style or not. So this is so cool. Look at that. Wouldn't that be so fun to have a uh, decorate in your craft room or your home? Um, this is I like it the way it is. That kind of a dress, different style of a dress form, but, but it would also be, um, be kind of cool to you know tie in different bits and strips of fabric or laces things like that if you kind of wanted to 
shabbied up a little bit. That'd be kind of a fun thing to do. Look at that decorative molding on the top there. So, so cool. So our house, our last house in Oregon before we moved to Florida, again, I will try to find a picture. Um, we had a fireplace, not, not all cool and shabby and chippy like that, but I had like a collection of mirrors and some of my amethyst glass, some really cool pieces. And um, this reminds me of that when I see this setup. So I'll try to find a picture of that as well. A for Abby. Okay, so this, uh, okay, so this is like, yeah, this is a different house. Oh, this this is so cool, you guys. This next section here, the guy's name is Andy Newcomb. I'm assuming he's a single guy because I don't, you know, he talks about his mom and his dad, but he doesn't mention a significant other um, unless she wants to be, you know, kept private or something like that. But this is such a cool thing. This is how this gentleman right down here decorated his home. He grew up with um, in a family where they would decor, they would purchase homes, not to like flip it or quick to try to earn money, but they would like take their time remodeling things and, you know, selling the homes and stuff. So he kind of got that love and that bug from that, from, from his parents, I think is really cool. Now this is kind of a cool idea. I've never thought to use pavers on inside part of the home. So, and yeah, this is inside of his house. First, I thought when he was like, in, like on a veranda or something like that, but it's inside of his home. So look at that cool table. I love that so much. I think this is really cool that a guy's doing this, you know, I just think it's awesome. So there's a really um, cool decorative piece there. And he, I love this um, kind of apron farmer sink that he has. He mentions a part in the article where he just takes some fabric to kind of hide, you know, like, you, you know, empty bases, you know, kitchen cleaner, things like that. So I thought that was really, really cool. Oh, I love this exposed beam idea, too. That's really neat. So really, really cool. So Steve and I have lots of inspiration to draw from to, you know, kind of decorate our home. It's basically like an empty... Um, you know, kind of like a empty canvas type of a thing because we can change this to whatever we want. And I'm still just in shock that I'm a home, homeowner. Steve's owned a home before, but I never have. So I'm not trying to be obnoxious about it, but I'm very excited. Okay, so the flooring in my craft room, it's going to resemble this, which I think is really, really cool. And um, what I'm look, looking for, not to give too much away, but I, um, I have my eyes out on the hunt for a really cool... Preferably, um, you know, vintage or pre-loved, um, kind of like an oriental rug type of thing that's got some purples and lilacs and a little bit of greens and maybe some gray kind of in it. So I'm already now looking, or have been looking for something like that. And I, I think it is gonna look really cool with this kind of white, you know, shiplappy kind of a floor. I don't know if you call this shiplap when it's on the floor, I don't know, but, um, I think it's, I have this whole vision in my head and I'm just so excited about it. So very, very cool. I thought this is a neat way to use this old secretary type of a thing. Love that chandelier. I'm all about the shandies. Um, if you guys want to kind of look through some of my Pinterest boards on Pinterest, it's just, um, I think I changed it to Purple Cottage Crafts. If you have trouble finding it, let me know and I will um, put a link into your comment. So really, really cool here. Love that. That's such a simple detail to add to like a planner box. Really, really cool. Love the purple. I love all the white and um, I think this is the guy that calls it the penny floor. Let me look here real quick. Yep, yeah, it's white penny, uh, white penny tile. So it says it right there. White penny tile. Really, really cool. I never knew the proper name for that before. So happy to have this. Okay, so this one is... A couple that ever um, a simple person's home is a cozy family hideaway. That's kind of cool too. But um, back in Lebanon, a few years back, there was a church that somebody purchased for a home, and they um, kind of remodeled the inside, and they let the public see the pictures because it was you know once a former church, and everybody was curious. They did a fantastic job of that. It was so cool looking the way they did that. Loving the shiplap on the walls in here too. This table. Look at those legs. I'm dying for those chunky, detailed legs. I love that so much. This is such a, such a cool thing. So for my um, reclaimed barnwood table, we're going to be looking. I'm going at least I'm going to try to source uh, legs like this to add to it. I think that is just so cool. So cool, cool, cool. All right. So this is their kitchen slash living room. It looks like, and look how chippy and 
that little green treasure. I think it's, is it a trunk? What is that? I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, I kind of, I, I always enjoy looking at the open, um, you know, the open cabinet kind of dishware concept. But for me personally, I wouldn't want that because with my OCD, my inattentiveness that I have, I, my mind thinks all the dust and um, things that can land on my plates and I feel like I would have to wash them before I could use them. I don't, I don't know if I'm alone in that. Probably not, I'm sure, but that's what I think. But I sh sure think it's pretty, but not for me. Unless it's like, you know, just a decorative bowl or something like that, then that would be okay. So we're definitely going to be putting one of these in our backyard, a fire pit. Not that style per se, but kind of that concept. And that's a cool way to repurpose an, a window when you don't have like a proper true window um, in your, your kitchen like overlooking the yard or whatever that's a really cool thing to do so I like that idea there's so many different ideas to uh, um, uh, um, alter old windows and things like that just on Pinterest and different online groups just really really cool I feel like I'm starting a little bit today you guys always tell me you don't notice it but um, I've been writing a really um, more pa painful, intense, painful um, facial pain the last couple days. But I really want to do this because I'm trying to do something creative today since um, I was down in bed all day yesterday. And um, so I'm just going to kind of push through. But if you hear any, you know, um, stuttering or we have a, a, a problem with articulating, please just ignore it. It's just my life post brain surgery. So the left half of my face is, is numb. So that's why it's kind of hard for me to talk talk sometimes so this is kind of cool the little river rock in, in the shower floors I've seen that a lot Steve and I went and looked at uh, a bunch of um, like not open house but like model homes and stuff in Florida when we first moved there because we thought, thought we were going to buy a home likely we didn't because we would have to deal with trying to sell our home or lease our home um, back in Florida but we saw this a lot in sinks too I saw um, saw one sink like that I thought that was kind of a cool look not for me but I think it's a cool look again with the Edison kind of a bold vibe love that so this room right here this page is going to be carefully torn out of this book and this is going to be one of the major main focal points of inspiration I'm going to draw off my craft room this is how I want it to look. Obviously with my pops of lavender and lilac and deeper purples and a little bit of green, some gray in there, that kind of stuff. But the majority of my room was going to be like this white ship lappy, um, chippy kind of a vibe. That's, I love this so much. I love this so much. So I just think it's such a cool, and I'd love to have a room like this too. I think that's just really, really cool. All the ship lap, the empty white chippy frames. I love the iron bed. So kind of the concept of having a rug, not this color, of course, but on my white shiplappy floor. So I think it's going to be a really, really cool look. So what I'm trying to rest, I th think one of the shops in Aurora is called Restoration Hardware. And they have um, true vintage pieces, um, like, you know, a little tiny nail, a little tiny bracket, or even a washer, all the way up to huge items like the beams I showed you. Um, what page was that? The beams like this they have huge architectural pieces like like this you can purchase too so this is a cool idea uh, i saw lots of these when i was there last probably about maybe three or four years ago it's been a while since we've uh, been up there definitely overdue for a visit so um so i'm not worried about the uh, the back side of this page i'm going to tear it because i think this is a cool look for them but it's not um, a uh, kind of a look I want for me my kind of like, you know kind of like the style a little bit but I love the furniture pieces like the chippy door I love you know it looks like an old church pew there and the crates underneath I love that I think it's a really cool way to um, for storage solutions but also a cool way to display kind of your style so and here's some more carbles over here those are really cool looking I love this little kind of a um like a cozy corner, like little, uh, um, kind of like a really cool kind of shabby cheeky little, um, what's what I'm looking for? Like a little vignette type of thing. I think that is just really, really cute. I love that so much. And it's pretty basic, you know, it's got um, a corbel. You can use different kind of bookends, just a few books with the spine facing the wall. I'm um, a glass vase and flowers and it's like a little pot. So this, I think, would be kind of 
um, more of a like attainable kind of a look, I think, for anybody. I mean, you could even, you could even get books from the Dollar Tree and a Dollar Tree vase if you wanted to. Um, there are different planter pots and some of their artificial flowers. You could just paint them white or, um, you know, however you wanted that to look. I think that's a really cute little way to have a little bit of a stylized um, area in your home. Love this stuff too. I, I think it's probably pretty safe to assume I love a lot of these things in this magazine. Um, we're just getting a lot of different inspiration for our home and my craft room and um, just really, really cool. So I love that a lot. The table, look at those chunky legs. I love those so, so, so much. And that wood chandelier, it's kind of a cool wood. I think in one of my, yes, in one of my Christmas um, little decoration vignettes, I do this with some um, little beads I have. So I will definitely share that with you once we get our Christmas decorations up in December, <laughs> not in October, or yeah, October now. So that's just the picture of the family there and they're kind of stylized way. I love this exposed kind of um, naked lampshade, um, if, um, if you kind of want to kind of call it that. Let's see, I'm trying to read this here and see what they... Um, okay, yeah, they just took a thrifted lamp and they were kind of removed the covering, like the lampshade material, and they just put like a really cool, uh, actually there was no bulb in there. See, this tricked me. I thought this was a bulb because of this right there when I looked at it at first, but no, it's just more of a decorative piece, not functional, so very, very cool. It's a neat idea on the side of your kitchen cabinet for spices and such. I love old spoons. I love all this kind of stuff, so this is a really neat room. Now there are I like the basic concept of the room. There's some pieces in here that are not my style, but I, I definitely love like the laurel wreath and the chippy frame and the corbels and, and the chippy fireplace, the ship wap, ship wap, the ship lap waltz on the back side. I love this chair. I love this the style of it, the lines. So just really, really cool to kind of see everybody else's perspective in their design style when it incorporates that whole shabby chic farmhouse um, flea market vibe, which I love so much and is super popular or trending right now. This is really cool. First time I saw this was on Fixer Upper. I know a lot of people who have this kind of look in their home. I think it's very cool. I love it a lot. Um, if I if I had la our laundry room, is I have a, I have a proper laundry room, a kind of a proper mud room, so to speak. But you walk through both of those rooms to get to the garage and, and, and back in the house and stuff. But if I had like an actual laundry room where I could close a door, like in prior homes we've lived in, I love this look. But it's not going to work for that room because like I said, we have to walk, you know, in and out to, to go to the garage and stuff like that. So love that sleigh bed. I've always loved sleigh beds, but we're not going to get a sleigh bed for our room. I kind of, I think they're beautiful, beautiful, yes, but we kind of, my taste a little bit and my style, style I guess you could say kind of a little bit different Steve because I want to comp compromise not just have what Abby likes what Abby wants for like the home um, I get that creative freedom in my crafting space of course but I want to um, I want Steve to have a voice too because it's not just me so uh, well he loves these kind of beds he thinks it's really pretty too but he's you know kind of sh shared some different um, you know styles and stuff that he likes so we kind of have an idea what we want to do see this old wood laundry board or ironing board i, I for, uh, forgot to mention it i have one of these that i picked up at a huge um kind of like a flea market type of event and um i i'm going to be doing something cool with this too because it's they can uh, display on the wall in our laundry room so but like i said before definitely going to be sharing those projects with you that's a really cool chevron look for a little girl's room that's really cute all right hot collectibles so collecting trends may come and go, but the thrill of the hunt never wanes. Here, here's what you should set your sights on this season. So this looks very Tim Holtzy to me, and I know a lot of us out there love our Tim Holtz, Angie Chronic Crafter. Um, you know she shares a love for Timmy, like um, like I said, tons and tons and thousands of us crafters out there um, that love Tim Holtz. So this whole botanical kind of um, poster. And um, I have a, a vintage amethyst vase that looks just like that, but it was, you know, it's amethyst, of course. I, I love the shape of that, too. It's really cool. And these pieces of 
um, amethyst there. So this is just a really cool kind of a vibe. I mean, like like I said, this is very Tim Holtzy to me. This whole page. So there's that a old battered teapot. That's kind of a cool thing. Or yeah, cooking copper. It's a copper teapot. And these are just some bracelets. How she? Oh, it's I'm see. It's Bakelite Jewelry is what that is. So. I've had this magazine since that Lowe's trip, so I've looked at it, but it's been, I think I've originally flipped through like the night or the next day from that trip. So um, some of these things I've kind of forgotten, like I've only flipped through, you know, one time. So I get little surprise, surprises. I'm always looking for frames like this when I'm at, you know, different junk and spots and stuff. And I scored a bunch of these. Um, this size and a little bit smaller at that fleet at that estate sale I mentioned mentioned earlier and of course it's going to be listed below to or link below so I think this is really pretty really really pretty soft and just a real pretty feminine kind of a look I love it so it's elegant glass is what they call that or this artery so so this, this is not my style um, at all this is mid-century modern which I do not like it's probably my least favorite type of um, decor and I'm not throwing shade at anybody who loves this. We all have different styles and, and taste levels, which makes all of the, this whole world a really kind of cool and eclectic kind of a mix. So this just isn't my style per se. But I think it's, you know, it looks nice though. I mean, I like the way they have it kind of staged and kind of the composition of it. So, and I love that brick wall in the back that's painted. So of course, can you guess what Abby loves on this page? My favorite. <laughs> The purple flowers. Now let's see. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so this is just talking about the different, um, like, you know, um, the different metals you can find. And like the silver. Yeah, let's talk about the different types of silver you can find at, you know, thrift shops and yard sales. And you can get them super, super cheap. Especially if it's like an estate sale. My experience has proven that um, either the, 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 the former homeowners have either passed away, unfortunately, uh, they're downsizing and want to move something smaller, or they go into assisted living, things like that, and their family and friends come in to help them kind of sell their wares. Um, a, lot, a lot of times that stuff is priced pretty um, reasonably because they just kind of want to get rid of it, so to speak. So I found probably estate sales um, have been like the most successful for me because of that reason. Um, Steve and I each have one of these, be it ours are the original red. Kind of funny because I brought, I have, I've had one for a super long time and then he came across one too. So when we got together, now we have two. <laughs> so there's that. Cute way to display some old treks that you have. Whether it be your spouse's tr treks from his childhood or your, you know, your, your kids. So this is, okay. I don't know. I've never seen the movie Pretty Little Liars. So I have no idea who this is but it says that she's from pretty little liars in life sentence so but um so i didn't know who this was when i first looked at it i am like so out of the loop on uh, like celebrities and stuff like that because i really enjoy unless it's steve perry i love steve perry um because i really love the whole classic movie era so that's mo mostly what i like to watch so there's that room there of hers Romantic flea market find. So that that's how she's, or what the art, article is calling it, romantic flea market. So I love that chair. I love the legs. That's really cool. And the gas range there in the kitchen. That's a cool look. Again, that open shelving. For me, it looks like a lot of these are like decor pieces. So that would not bother me to have that stuff kind of exposed. But things I'm going to be using on the daily, I prefer them to be like in a, a proper cabinet. And that's just me. Yeah, that's just my style. You know you got a big kitchen when you can have a farmhouse table in your kitchen and still have room to walk around. <laughs> so I love the eclectic mix of different types of chairs. Very, very cool. The white cabinets in the back. This I thought, this is another huge but inspirational page for me that I'm really going to draw inspiration from. Um, these are old metal Drawers. I, I don't think they mentioned what they're from. Yeah, it just says old metal drawers serve as a bookcase. So, and a discarded picnic table or picnic bench stands in as a console. So, I, I'm all about this. This is 
old vintage items that have been repurposed into either a creative um, display or creative storage. I think that's really, really cool. So all those old, those old books. This would be a really neat way for me to display um, a lot of my um, collection of vintage books that I have. I think that would be a really cool idea to do that. So, But I'm not going to take up that much room in my craft room to do that. But I could completely do this on, on a smaller scale. Or even uh, just a couple of drawers in our home somewhere in the wall. That would be kind of a cool look. And then the old picnic bench. And then some repurposed um, uh, wood box, boxes like from apples. Di um, different kinds of produce for that one. Okay. Moving on, moving on. This I thought was really cool. This looks like a huge old lampshade wire. I've never seen that style of bed before. I thought that was kind of cool. So there's that. Old secretary. Look at this. Check out this uh, clawfoot bathtub. Isn't that just crazy? Crazy, crazy. Now, I know this is probably for staging purposes, but I'm thinking, why would it be a fabric chair that close to the bathtub? But I can't get, I think this is for staging <laughs> because on my mind, I'm like, the water get maybe splashed when you're getting in or out on the fabric, getting it wet. I don't know. This is my, how my brain thinks, I guess. So this is another really cool page. I love this whole, um, this is like uh, an extension to the, uh, um, when I read the article, that they kind of um, remodeled this room here at, um, in their house. I think it was like, what do you call those rooms? Um, I know they're called like Lanai's and, and Hawaii and Florida and stuff, but I can't th think what the proper name is because I'm filming. If I wasn't filming, I knew it well, just like that. So I'm trying to think what they call, um, call these. Um, let me think here a second. Get myself a little sip of coffee. Anyway, I can't think of it. When I go back to edit the video, I'll put it across here because I, um, as soon as I turn the camera off, I'm going to remember what it's called. But in, anyway, it's like attached to their house, but it, um, you know, they kind of like a closed in porch or something like that. I'm not sure what the proper term is. But I think this is really, really, really cool. I like everything about this. I think it's, I love the mix of kind of the darker metals and you got the shabby shaky white with, um, you know, the chippy chairs and the um, uh, wicker settee there and the table. Just a really, really cool look. So, again, driving more inspiration from this to um, use in our home. So, so from the ashes of a burned 1940s home rises a new build featuring weathered materials and mementos that gracefully nod to the past. Very cool. We're looking for a piece when you first walk in their home because we don't wear shoes in our house. So we always take our shoes off. We have a really cool kind of um, uh, shoe rack we got from Costco. It's not old or anything, of course, but it works perfectly. And then, um, but we're looking for some kind of a setting type of thing like this. So when our family and friends come over, they have a, they have a place to um, take their shoes off. So, and I'm really looking for something, either a really cute basket like this or, or possible like under um, here, like have a little, little drawers that pull out or something, because I'm going to be going to Walmart and getting a ton of those you know kind of fuzzy socks that you you can get really inexpensively so if people um because like i said we're gonna be pulling up the carpet and we're gonna have like hardwood floors so if their feet um get ten and they don't have socks on but their, their feet kind of get cold they can slip a pair of those socks on which of course i'll wash before i put them back of course but that's kind of a, our thought for the uh, entryway in our home so built a bookcase here and they have like old, these are old pizza boards, I think, remember right. Vintage bread paddles. I stand corrected. That's kind of a cool idea. So if you ever see something like this out about on your treasure hunting, you could grab those and um, display them. I never would have uh, thought to use the uh, old bread paddles in that format. So really, really cool. One of our houses in Oregon before we moved had um, these built-in bookcases like this. I love it. We're actually going to um, incorporate that kind of idea in our home, in our living room that way. Which, of course, like I said, when we get things um, decorated and that kind of stuff, I'll kind of share things. Because a lot of our stuff is still in boxes because we're going to be ripping out the floor, the carpet. And we don't want to bring a ton of our stuff in the house just to move it out the to move back in so we still have some boxes in here so or else I'd show you now it's kind of um, messy in here still because of the boxes I love this dark wood floor in her kitchen I love the island um, 
Now I'm thinking she must either a have a really tall husband or tall children, or um, the kind of remember like in the old uh, like they show it in uh, My Fair Lady in his library has those long ladders you get on it you can kind of push yourself around in the room I'm wondering if she has something like that because look at the dishes up there how is she going to reach those dishes so they're probably just for staging purposes I don't know but to me personally cabinets and shelves are, uh, that high are kind of really pointless because I can't reach the stuff to get it unless of course it's just for display which is really cool so again I'm not being negative I'm just showing you know expressing my um, kind of view on that or my um, thoughts on that I guess you could say so again really cool corbels on her island very neat oh that's this is like a beam from like a reclaimed you know um, home I think that's a really cool touch to add in your kitchen like that that's very cool I'm pretty certain we're going to be using these drawer that style of drawer pulls in our kitchen when we we're going to be replacing um the uh, hardware and we're going to be getting rid of the current uh, countertops we're going to be putting some different things in so um, um, th when we get the cabinets repainted because we're not going to replace them the cabinets are fine um, they're just a darker wood which we don't really prefer for a kitchen but those are the drawer pulls that we both like so and here's her bathroom isn't that just a beautiful bathroom you guys that is just so pretty to look at I just want to go in there and just sit on that chair and just kind of um, you know just enjoy the beautifulness of this room very very beautiful my um, one sister-in-law brother-in-law they bought an older home and they, they um, fixed basically from like the you know the um, ground up and they tore out like lots of walls and it, you know kind of cleared down um, they put like better insulation in the walls things like that and one of their bathrooms upstairs is big enough to have an actual um, hutch in it and I think it's just a really cool look and it reminds me of their bathroom when I see this in there so just really really cool I love it love it and that so all right cream of the crop um here I'm gonna try to hurry a little bit because I feel like this is super super long and really chatty of me um this is really cool I have my friend Mindy and I years ago she she and I um go to a lot of you know junk and shops together and yard sales and things like that and we picked it it's not this wide of a, a rake but it was probably more like like this size like an older rake it was just the rake part and I'll handle so I, I got one and she got the other one and I used to hang like um, different kind of laces on mine or if I was working on bookmarks or things like that it, same idea but just used in my craft room so really really cool idea I wouldn't hang my purses on there because I'm really prissy with my purse my purses sorry that was loud when I dropped the magazine but I think it's a really cool look nonetheless so and if I, my eyes tell me right that's a Chanel handbag I think anyway moving on Abby <laughs> focus 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 so it says giddy up on that one. Oh, is this the the yeah it's a horse harness I was going to say the yoke, but I don't think, think that's what this is called. They're calling it just a horse on um, horse harness. Really, really cool. And they got some old, you know, pizza boards and bread boards as a display. I think this is super clever. I've never seen that before. I think that's really, really cool. And the old beverage cart down there. And this is like the ice pick. I've seen, pretty sure that's an ice uh, yeah, ice tongs. I've seen this before on Pinterest. Many, many different versions of this. Very, very cool. I love this idea. If I can find one of these or Mindy, like I said, she has like a farmhouse, shabby chic, um, rustic kind of a shop. And so she goes out a lot more than I do um, because that's her job is to do that. But if there, there are things that I'm looking for and she and I are, um, aren't together, I can let her know by taking a picture and sending it to her. And she'll kind of find things for me and buy things for me and I pay her back, of course. Or we trade with um, me, like making a shabby chic banner or display pieces for her, her shop. So this is really cool. I love this so much. Uh, storage boost by turning an antique grain sifter into a smart shelving unit. I love this. And if I can find one of these, um, preferably this size, I am going to be doing that in um, our master bathroom and possibly 
the bathroom that's downstairs. I just love the, that piece so much. Such a cool idea. And this, they give you instructions on how they did this, but if you just go to YouTube, um, like the HT, HGT, HGTV channel, DIY channels, um, Jamie Ray Vintage, um, and uh, a ton of others, and I will link Jamie Ray, her YouTube channel in the description box below, as well as her website. Obsessed with her channel, love it, love it, but this is really cool too, how you can take pieces like this. I just watched one, who was it? I think it was Mark Montano. He used um, some of the IOD Prima um, rub-ons and transfers, and I will link that video below as well. So lots of information going to be in the description box. But when I mention YouTube channels or things like th that, I like to link them below so you can go check them out and see the inspiration that I got from them. And hopefully it'll work for you too. So this lady is, let's see here, homeowner and interior designer Suzanne Caldwell. I don't know where she lives, if she's you know, in the United States, or it doesn't say where she's located. Not that it matters, but um, isn't that just beautiful? I could never grow something like that. I just, I don't have a green thumb. I don't kill everything, but I, I don't know a lot about plants and things like that. But I'm learning because we have a pretty big, um, our, our house is a lot of uh, pretty good sized lots in a neighborhood and we have lots of places to plant things and whatnot. So luckily one of my other brother-in-laws is a horticulturist, so that comes in handy. He's kind of talked Steve and I, um, Steve and I into, not talked us into, but he's kind of given us examples of types of trees and things we want for different parts of our property and for reasons that, you know, like we want to put, we want to put, plant some trees in our backyard because we have neighbors behind us. We have a two-story home, they have a one-story home, so they can't like look into our yard unless they got on their roof or something. But um, we kind of want to have a little bit more privacy. We're going to plant some trees along there. So that's going to be fun to share that process with all of you as well. So this is playing with color. Florals and, is it iCats? I don't even know what that means. Florals and iCats and stripes. Oh my. 1880s Hampton Cottage. Wow. That would be so cool to have like an old vintage cottage like that. Very, very cool. Loving the purple linen napkins right there. Very cool. So let's see. You're almost done, you guys. I know it's been a long, long, long video, but so, moody purples, vivid greens, shy pinks, and regal blues. Pick your hue. So when I mentioned earlier about the color palette in my new crafting space, um, I'm I, green and stuff. I'm talking about like you know, like this little bit of a lighter kind of a green, some darker greens, and then like some silvery gray. It might kind of look weird, but I'm going to be putting a um, kind of an inspiration board together. And I'm going to have like little bits of fabric, you know, attached on it, different photos, like that one bedroom I showed you earlier. And um, just different materials that you pull together. Like you, if you watch any of the... Um, you know, kind of like home decor, DIY, remodeling type channels on TV or, or on YouTube, they always put together kind of like a little sample board. Like they'll have, it's supposed to be for kitchens, they'll have like a tile sample, backsplash sample, paint sample, different things like that. So I'm going to be putting one of those together so I can share that with all of you and kind of see where my inspiration is coming from. And I love these purple glasses right there. Wish I could reach it and just grab them. So, so cool. All right, move it on, move it on. So just some different decor in here. She has like a shiplap wall and like the ceiling. I love that um, wood on the top there. Uh, let's see here. These look like old mill. Let me look here before I talk. Okay, so I'm wrong. Um, above left. Whimsical wallpaper puts a smile on the pantries. No fuss open shelves, which the cobbles built themselves. Okay. I, I was hoping there would be a name. These look like the old milk. Yeah, I'm trying to talk about like the... Um, I, I, I never mind. <laughs> I'm going to do a horrible jo job trying to articulate what I mean. But um, hopefully somebody out there kind of knows what I'm talking about with those. If you don't, that's okay too. So this is a really cool way for like some um, beachy kind of decor. I have tons and tons of shells from um, the beaches in Florida. So I'm going to be definitely displaying those in our house somewhere. I love these exposed beams up here again. That's really, really cool. So you know what I think of when I look at stuff like this? I think it's beautiful. Like on Pinterest, there's, um, uh, well, well, a ton of 
of different um, accounts that I follow in regards to like floral and things like that. They have like these gorgeous wisteria, um, you know, um, bushes and stuff like around their home and really, really cool. When I see this kind of stuff, it, even though I think it's beautiful, I think of spiders because I am super, super afraid. I, I'm almost um, like in a little bit of a manic mode when I see them. I don't care how small or big or whatever. They just, I am severely frightened by them. And so I think of that when I see stuff like this, even though I like it. I think it's beautiful, but that's where my mind goes <laughs> when I see stuff like that. So I think we're getting close to the last article. Let's see. Bring on the old, bring on the new, the century old home, Texas. The century old Texas homestead embraces both letting texture and a calming palette bridge the age gap. So very, I love this kind of a look too. And I think of like um, Reed Drum and the Pioneer Woman when I see some different really cool places in um, like Texas and the states that she lives in too. So really, really cool. Love that shiplap on the walls, that really unique chandelier, the different mix of chairs with woods and styles. I love that. And those chunky table legs, love that as well. So very neat. I don't know, we might, I kind of talked to Steve about kind of having an area like this. Now we have a really cool farm, um, like a pub style table that I'm, where I'm on right now. But we're probably going to put this into the formal living, a formal dining room in the front. And they get kind of maybe something not so big. So it doesn't feel like it's overcrowded between our kitchen and our living room, which is like living rooms there, kitchens behind me. So I kind of like this look, a little mix of different chairs. I'm not so sure if Steve sold on that idea, but I, you know, I'm going to try to maybe convince him <laughs> into wanting to do something like that. We'll see. It's not a big deal because like I said, Steve and I have, we really truly have um, a lot of design style stuff in common. So it's going to be, it's going to be good. And I'm excited to go treasure shopping for different things for our home. It's just, I'm just so excited, you guys. And I, again, I'm not trying to be obnoxious. I'm not trying to brag. I'm 45 and I just, I'm, I'm now a homeowner. Um, and I just can't believe it. I was a single mom for so long and that it didn't seem like something would be attainable for me as a single mom. So, which I know can be, but you know, with the salary that I was getting at the time. So really, really cool. At first I thought these were clothespins because I've seen that kind of a DIY years and years ago on YouTube. So it's, a, it's really cool. And so there's tons of videos on how to do that. If you want to, you know, do the, the um, clothespin look. And I love this kitchen, but I don't like the bar stools. That's too modern for me. But I think this is really cool. I also click bird cages. Love that. Again, the walls, kind of the open shelving. I think it's really cool to look at, but I, I would always be worried about, I don't know why. I just, I, but anyway, <laughs> I've already explained it earlier, so I'll be quiet. Really cool um, with the legs on the back side of this bar. I like that a lot. Very, very cool look. And the little plate collage um, wall there. That's really cool. I love that chandelier. I'm also on the hunt. Now I've seen tons of chandeliers in past years, in current time, but I'm looking for something specific. Um, I would prefer for, for, for it to be uh, like an actual vintage chandelier. I know you can find some beautiful reproductions, but my goal is to try to find an original um, vintage chandelier. I have I think that's just beautiful. I have like a specific um, design and style in my head and trying to translate that to something that Steve can kind of, you know, visual, visually see so he can kind of look for it too. It's kind of hard because, um, hard for me because I don't explain it properly. So that's what I mean. So move it on, move it on here. If I get the pages apart. Okay, so gorgeous. I'm going to be making some paper flowers like this, so watch for that tutorial coming up. Probably not till November-ish because I have some fall crafts I need, do need to film first, so this is just, I love these so, so much. These are real, but I'm going to do some paper ones of that. So, um, really, really cool kind of shiplap wall again. It's got the two beds. This would be such a, a cute room for like, you know, company and things like that. Um, 
There's that white penny tile again down there. I just love this. Now, I love how this looks. That's a bit too much white for Steve, which I love it. But again, we have very similar tastes, but there are some th things like down to details. Like he would want um, some more co color in here besides just white. I like it like that. I probably would add some lilacs and purples to this because that's like my, my, my jam. But, um, you know, just you'll see as I'm sharing things throughout our home at as we're kind of uh, decorating and I'm making things for our home. You kind of see more of what I'm talking about. Now, now this, the first time I ever saw a spoon like light like this before was when we, we first moved to, um, I almost said Port Portland. We first moved to Florida. There was a sh shop in downtown Deland. It was called Pretty Little Things of Deland. I love her shop. I will, I tried to do some vloggy bits in there, but her shop is always so busy because it's such a cool shop. But it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, in downtown Delan and she had this but it was more like a staggered um, proper you know longer chandelier like you know from like this is the height of it kind of and I took a bunch of pictures I don't know what I did with them I don't think I posted them because like I said this is like the, when we first moved to Florida um, but I love this so much I think that is such a really cool look and I like the smaller version too with the Edison bulbs in there so I think that's a really cool look all right this looks like what do they like the? I know what this is called, but I can't think of the word for it. Let's see if they say it. Wood folding chair, bird design. Da, 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 oh, it doesn't say, but it's you know what I'm talking about, like an old farms and stuff, and it has the big fans that turn windmill maybe. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments section below. <laughs> Nicely, please. Um. That's really cool looking. I've never seen a bulb like that before. Huh. But again, oh, they turn this into a lamp. Shed new light on a stack of old books by converting the tomes, and I make tomes, into a large lamp base. Stack the volumes. I'll let you read it. You can pause it and read that if you want to. That is so cool. I didn't, that didn't compute for me when I first flipped through the book. I thought that was just... Yeah, I see the light bulb on, but I didn't think that that's what it was. I don't know why. That is very cool. Very, very cool. I probably wouldn't cut into my old books because I have like, um, you know, books from the 1800s and early 1900s. I, I wouldn't probably want to do this with it. But you could do is you could get other older books that like yard sales of shops, things like that. And you can alter them to look older and do this kind of a look. Or you can use vintage books like they did, you know, just kind of... Uh, kind of like your style. I love the botanical prints. That's a really cool look too. Really, really cool look. And we're almost at the end. You, you guys are probably like, oh, finally. Look at this really cool um, fabric on that bench, that seating bench. Isn't that cool? It's a really cool look. I like it. How many times can I say cool when I'm talking about that bench? Um, love this island here. Love the wire baskets. Very neat. Okay. I think we're getting close to the ads in the back yet. Yeah. So this is the resources page in the back of the magazine. It's, it's broke down by the page number and they tell you where um, the items and the photos w were obtained. Some some of the different pages you could actually go to a website and purchase those items and some some of them are like true vintage items so you can't buy it again but they but they um, provided the store or the shop that they found them in in case you're local to that area. So got have lots and lots of resources here in the back. And this is the back page. Got games. Score a, decorate, ugh, score a decorating win by turning vintage board games into wall decor. Now I have seen this before on Pinterest. I think that's a really cool look. This would be really neat like in a media room or like a kid's, you know, like a playroom, a man cave. You know, you just have, um, uh, you know, not, not, not maybe so little kid-like um, old games in the wall. I mean, you could. You could do whatever you wanted to with your space, but I think that's a really neat idea, too. So, All right, so this is the end of my uh, Best of Flea Market style flip-through. I know this is really wordy and chatty, and I'm sorry for that. I just get so excited when I talk about home decor, creative inspiration, uh, especially for, um, for my craft room. I love old vintage stuff. It's, that's just like me and I love it so I thought so I might be kind of um, fun to go through this with you look at that really cool chippy chair I love that love that look 
So anyway, so I just wanted to share this with all of you and just kind of have a, you know, my latte, which is now lukewarm, but I don't care because I was chalking so much, I didn't get a chance to, to kind of uh, drink my coffee with all of you. So anyway, I'm going to be creating a playlist if I don't uh, have one already, where I'm going to be, you know, doing different flip throughs of different magazines, not just this particular one. Probably the next one's going to be um, my Magnolia journal. Um, I, I think I have three or four. I forget because you don't get one every month. It's like what? I think you get uh, like four times a year. I can't remember exactly because that's when my work come in. They got packed because of our move. But um, I will try to do a better job of not making this video so long <laughs> but you know like I said I'm you know Gabby Abby was one of my names um, when I was growing up because I'm such a chatty person so anyway I'm gonna go and wrap this up and, and you'll find you'll find this video in the new playlist which I haven't um, come up with a, I haven't come up with a name for it yet but obviously you'll see it when you watch this video so um, thank you for having a cup of coffee with me and let me kind of chit chat with you and show you some different ways of where I draw inspiration from not just for my craft room but for my home as well our home. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting, and happy magazine flipping. <laughs> yes, Cornball Abby's still here. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.